Welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Hardcore Mod. I hope you enjoy. Uh, we got bits already. Sarah wrote of the 1111 bits. Final Fantasy Friday agreed. This is one of those rhetorical questions, Kipo. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Starting off hot with the 1111 bit donation. I appreciate it. You the bomb. I forgot to change the. Uh oh. I forgot to reset the thing. I've done it now. Well, oh well. It's it's done now. We we do not have 2,205 bits today. I forgot to reset it. But now I don't want to reset it because then your 1,011 will be gone. But uh, anyways, welcome back to the hardcore mod. Um, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. It's been it's been an incredible week. Um, here at 48 Live, we've just been having a lot of fun, doing a lot of different things. Crashathon is finally getting close to the end. Um, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do, like when Crashathon ends. Like I, I already know what the next marathon is gonna be, but I mean, I, I just I like it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna like, I, I gotta have some like crazy celebration or something for the end of Crashathon, because that has been quite the journey. Um, like through hardships, <laughs> through uh, a lot of games, through a lot of hours, it's just been a lot. So uh, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool when we when we finish that. Um, we've been working on the Dishonored World Record run. Um, You have more. Oh, I don't know why, but you have more. Um. Yeah. It's just been uh. It's been it's been a crazy week. Uh. I want to thank Trapton for coming on last week and doing Final Fantasy Friday with me. Um. I've been reading people's comments on the previous videos and stuff. Uh, it's all been really, really supportive and great. I, I appreciate it a lot. Um, hold on, Mega Elixir. Oh, dang it. Um. I've had, I still had a couple of people talking about audio issues on YouTube. Um, I don't really know. Like, I've done my best to, to set up the audio the best that I can, uh, given my current situation. I, I have one mic. It's a blue ball, blue ball, snowball blue. It's a blue ball. Is it? It's like that old uh, Bob and Tom. I bet you no one even knows what Bob and Tom is. I think it's like an Ohio thing. Maybe not. They sung a song about blue balls. Anyways, the, I have a snow snowball blue mic, and I've set up a filter. I don't have enough room on my desk currently to have like an actual physical pop filter. Um, like right now, my mic barely fits on my desk, let alone a filter. Um, so that's why I don't have like a pop filter in front of it. I would like to get one eventually, but I'm working on getting a new desk at the moment. Um, Yo, Ham, joining the 4A crew. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the crew. Phone figures to the chat for that incredible Twitch Prime sub. I love you, man. Welcome. Enjoy the awesome emote. The awesome foam finger emote. You're the bomb, man. Thank you so much. Um, hey, what's up, Arithium? How's it going, man? I was really enjoying watching your, uh, your stream the other day. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I have to kind of work with what I got. And uh, I don't... The other thing is, like, I don't... I don't honestly see that much issue. Like, I have two people on my stream that are, like, sound 
guys. Like, Jimbo is a sound and, like, uh, piano god and, and knows a lot about sound design and stuff. And then Chopdon went to school for uh, sound design. And both of them tend to think that my setup's pretty good. Like, they, they know that there's, like, a little bit of popping, you know, especially, like, when I get close to the mic. But, like, that's kind of the point of that, honestly, is, like, that's the joke. <laughs> uh, but, like, when I'm just sitting here talking, they don't see any, like, issue with it. And I find it hard to, like, go out and spend, like, $200 on a actual, like, physical compressor board when, you know, most 90% of people don't have any issue with, uh... Jimbo is the sound, correct. <laughs> um, most people don't have an issue, so I'm just like, you know, I try to do my best with what I have, but I can't please everybody all the time. Um, but I had, I, and, it, and it's it's only a few people, but I've had a couple people come on and say like, oh, you're, you're peaking a lot, and you need to set up a filter and stuff. And I've set up a filter through OBS, and I changed it again this week. So those of you out there that are like sound freaks and, and are really... Uh, into sound and, and want it to sound good. Uh, let me know if it sounds better or worse now. Um, like I said, I just set up a quick filter that like lowered the the um, I forget what it's called. Whatever the, the filter is that helps stop uh, peaking. Um, so I did my best to to stop that. Oh, I didn't set up an item. Shoot. All this for nothing. Um, and so yeah, I did my best to set it up, you know. But but keep in mind, you know, I only have so much I can work with, and uh, you know, usually, usually it goes better uh, telling people to fix their sound sound audio if you don't call them names. Just just throwing that out there, you know. Just a quick little like a quick. Uh, A quick tip for all of you YouTube commenters out there: uh, If you want somebody to do something, it's it's best not to call them names, or uh, you know, use certain vocabulary. <laughs> it, it blows my mind how many people like genuinely want me to like, you know, do something with my audio or whatever, and then they they're just like. Dude, you're bad, and you should feel bad, and everything you do is bad, and by the way, buy this mic. No, I, I don't think I will, but thanks for the thanks for the offer, I guess. <laughs> like why would I why would I do anything you say? You sound like kind of a jerk. I'm deaf, please use sign language. Now you're now you're speaking my language. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what people expect when they like get mad at you. Angry YouTube comments are the death of many a good content producer. I agree, definitely. But don't you worry about me. I've been doing YouTube for nine years. Pretty used to it by now. If, I, if I'm not used to it at this point, then... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Look, I like everything you're doing, except that you're currently doing. Everything you're currently doing. I like everything but everything you're doing. Oh yeah, definitely makes a difference. I'm mostly just waiting for to get my new desk. And then once I get my new desk set up, I would love to actually get a compressor and a nice mic and a pop filter and all that jazz. Because I'd actually have room for it. But right now, I legitimately have no room for it. My mic alone covers up a little bit of my screen because they're too close together. So like I have to like look over it sometimes. So yeah, it's just not... <laughs> I'm not in a good enough position to do it at the moment. But I would like to. It's not like I'm... I'm just saying screw audio, like audio is important, I want it to be good, but I think it's good enough at the moment, you know, that I don't need to like rush out to the store and buy something because 99% of people, you know, say nothing about it. It's just like four people on my YouTube that are just like, so I heard your, your mic pop once, so I guess I'm leaving. Even though I'm pretty sure like, uh... That, that's the other thing that cracks me up too. I, I'm pretty sure those are the same people that watch those like ear rape 
videos, you know the ones I'm talking about, like the the memes where like the the audio goes super loud and like tries to break your speakers. They probably like love that crap and then they go on my stream and I like pop once and they're like, "Wow, this guy." <laughs> How dare he? How dare he get loud sometimes? What a jerk. When's the new YouTube comment row segment? I uh, see. I like doing that, but I don't at the same time because most people are really nice on YouTube, and I, I don't. I don't want to make it seem like everyone's a jerk or something. Because I, I get I get so much positive feedback that uh, you know I, I I and I appreciate it so much. And, and when I make like a when I sit down and like roast YouTube comments, it makes it sound like. I don't have good support, and I do. I have the best support on YouTube. I have the best support on Twitch. Like, I do not take it for granted one bit. I, I cannot believe the amount of people that support and, and send me stuff and send me letters and, and everything else. It's just, like, incredible. I, I don't... I cannot thank people enough for it. So, I, you know, I don't like to... But I think we all know that with every good YouTube comment, there's... If you if you look enough, you'll find you'll find some special stuff on there. <laughs> I cannot mount my display monitors on the wall. My current desk has a giant thing, like it, it's got a giant thing here. That's why I need a new desk before I do anything. I might, but I I actually instead of mounting to the wall because then I have to have a shorter desk so that I'm close enough to the the monitor. I much prefer actually getting like a, a stand-up uh, mount so I can like move it and like move the monitors around because um, that would actually help me a lot for when I'm like editing and stuff I can move it here and then when I'm streaming I can move it back over here that would be nice those things are kind of expensive though and you have to get the right monitor that can mount to it and I don't think either of my monitors can mount to a wall a stand-up mount at the moment so I'd have to buy like two new monitors and that's not in the cards at all <laughs> Not even close. You know, it really makes me sad that uh, you have to be a Twitch partner to um, to have custom um, subscriber emotes or subscriber badges. Because uh, I was I'm, I was pretty sure I was really close to being a partner, and then when the whole affiliate thing came out, um, I think they started getting more serious about who would be a partner because like everyone gets affiliate now so there should only be a couple real like partners and then everyone else can just be an affiliate um and i love being an affiliate and it's literally everything i've ever wanted but i'm a little sad that i don't have um i don't have custom subscriber badges because then people can't see how long they've been subbed until they actually like sub and I just think that's a really cool thing because there's a lot of people on my stream that have been subbed for a really long time, or at least following. Although uh, my, I think my how long thing works now. You should try it, Arithium. I uh, it hasn't worked forever, but the other day I um, I found another way to do it, and I wonder if it works now. I have a different bot that does it. It'd be cool to see how long people have been following. Although I don't think everyone follows because. Um, um, sometimes they just know that I'm live because I'm live at the same time every week so they don't really like follow nice it does work you guys have to uh, you have to wait a, a, it's got like a 5 second cooldown so that everyone doesn't spam it so you gotta <laughs> you gotta wait a little bit Sixty-six weeks. It's pretty legit. Although I don't know, that doesn't sound. Well, maybe. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sixty-six weeks. That's like. Uh, how long is that? <laughs> Arithium knows how long. He's like, I know how long. I don't need a bot to tell me. One and a half years. 
I, I know I'm pretty sure because I've only been streaming for about one and a half years. It feels like longer, but um, it really hasn't been that long. If you think about it. Yo, God, thank you for the 250 bits. Appreciate it a lot, man. These things just do so much damage. I don't know, like, what I need to do to, like, survive better. <laughs> I feel like maybe just going up levels would help. I'm not actually that... I don't know what level we are. I mean, Twitch, to me, isn't about a big following, so... You know, I, like, I did not do Twitch to get a big following. My, you know, it, it, Twitch is to be closer to my awesome fans that, that are close, you know, that I know and that are closer to me, and, and to meet some of the people that have been following me on YouTube forever. Um, and just because I enjoy doing this a lot, and this was what people donated for. Like, I don't know, it's, it's a long story, but... Needs to do a lot of missing. Okay, this is working out. Um, it's a long story, but but basically, I started doing Twitch to get closer to the fans that I really loved, and and to let give people the opportunity to to like actually meet me and and talk to me and everything. Um, and then, just as an extension to that, so many people donated and supported and stuff that I knew I had to start doing this for a living because, you know, people were asking for it and they were they were giving me enough money to, to support me, and so that's when I started doing it for a living, um, both YouTube and Twitch, but, uh, people mostly donated on Twitch, so that's, you know, I've become a four-day-a-week Twitch streamer. And I still do YouTube as much as I can, but most of it, most of my time lately has been dedicated to Twitch because it's what people donated for, it's what people supported, that this is the reason that I get to do it as a living because people donated on my Twitch stream, so I knew that that's what people wanted. Um, when it comes to like, when we get into the winter season, I'm going to start working a lot harder on YouTube again, um, but, you know, Twitch is always going to be the main, not... Nah, I guess it kind of is my main priority, at least time-wise, is my main priority. doesn't mean that I'm, like, giving up on YouTube or anything. I'm still doing YouTube just as much as I always have. Um, but, you know, Twitch has become, like, a big part of, of 4 8. So, Twitch, and what's great is that Twitch does both, you know, thanks to this, like, hardcore mod and, and you know, because that was my goal from the beginning was I didn't want to just, like start doing Twitch and completely forget about YouTube. So I, I tried to find a way to do both at the same time. And this is great because I get to do Twitch four days a week and I still get two hours of YouTube content every single week with four episodes of the Hardcore Mod. Plus, 4-8 Live Highlights ends up being like two and a half to three hours worth of um, content every week on YouTube, which is enough. I, I think any more than that, people will get mad at me, you know? A lot of people, like, uh, get mad when you uh, do too much stuff on YouTube. They're like, I can't watch my other channels. So, uh, so yeah, it, it's just worked out great. Like, it, it, it's, it's a steady stream of good content. It's not like I'm just blasting out, like, crap on YouTube. Um, it's all meaningful and has my, my chat and, and fans with me as I do it. And people can watch on Twitch or YouTube, whichever they prefer, which I really enjoy because me personally, I, you know, used to prefer YouTube a lot. Then I kind of moved over to Twitch and now I kind of prefer Twitch more. Now I kind of watch both. Um, I have YouTube channels that I watch and I have Twitch channels that I watch. So it's really important to me to give everybody options like, hey, if you want to watch it live and be a part of the action and talk to me personally, that's awesome. Come see me on Twitch. If you're somebody that just likes to watch VODs, then it's all on YouTube as well. So, uh, 
that was really important to me. You know, starting off. I forgot to put up an item. I don't really know, like, what I need. Because everyone should have pretty good stats at this point. Red 13 has poopy luck, but he doesn't really need luck. Except for dodging. I wonder if I should do... I guess I could do speed sources. I know, it's been so long already. It's crazy. When's the next in-depth look? Um, so when when uh, winter starts, like probably like next month, maybe after, maybe after October, um, I'm gonna really sit down and finish the next Final Fantasy VII tutorial, which is going to be the Chocobo vid, and then um, after that will be the next in-depth look, so shall be soon. Hey, I'm thinking for the 50 bits. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, what do I want to use? How about Um, 70 weeks! Yeah, Chrysoflax is the man. The myth, the legend. Hey, how's it going, Rhino? Yeah, and, and you know, that's what's great about doing Twitch and YouTube is that... If you can catch it live, great. If not, you have the VODs on Twitch or the VODs on YouTube, so it, it all works out great. Um, yeah, the only the only regret I have, which is not really a regret because I know that people donated specifically for like Twitch content, so it's important that I do what people want. Um, but my only regret is that, yeah, it's been a while, like, it, it, it's kind of pushed my, my premium YouTube content back a lot. But it's okay, because, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I can't do both at the same time and make them both perfect, so I took some time off of YouTube to make Twitch what it is now. And now, when winter comes, I got Twitch all figured out, I got, you know, the whole thing going on, and, and everything's working out great. So when, it, when winter comes around, I'll have more time, and I can actually do both, and, and start knocking out big YouTube videos again and then everyone will be happy so it works out it works out well uh, good old preemptive attack where you guys still get attacked first yeah welcome welcome to active battle Where the preemptives don't matter. Do so you know why your Moobot whispers me your commands instead of putting them in chat? Uh, which commands are you talking about? Because it whispers some and puts more other ones in chat. Yeah, I mean, I think, I don't know, I think right now, personally, no, I see, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I was going to say right now, personally, I'd rather do Twitch than YouTube, but that's not exactly true. I, I really love doing YouTube videos, um, but what's, what's great about Twitch for me is that I get to be personally talking and, and, and meet awesome people and... I get to do it more. I get to do it nine hours a day, whereas YouTube, it's like a 20-minute video that takes two weeks to make, you know, but this is nine hours a day, four days a week. Like, I get to really work and, and get stuff done and, and be with you guys and do awesome stuff, so um, it's, it's a lot more content, but I wouldn't say, like, 
I don't like doing YouTube or something because every day I get an idea for an awesome YouTube video and, and I love putting together big epic videos that, that help people and either tutorial videos or other things. I have an idea for a really big um, actual uh, um, series I want to start, like a comedy series that I want to start. Um, but that's all in the future when I have more time to do it. Wow, that was really strong, Nan. Have you played that piano on stream recently? No. <laughs> I think the last time I played that keyboard back there was uh, during one of my... my uh, I did a little like update video and I start off the video by just like jamming on it. Um, but I don't, I don't, I, I don't even know how to play it. It's been so long. I, I, I taught myself how to play it a long time ago, but I've forgotten since then. I don't know, I just, I really like the way things are now. I like the fact that people can watch wherever they want to watch. The only thing that I'm not doing right now that I want to be doing are the big Final Fantasy VII tutorial videos and the in-depth videos and stuff, but I know personally that this summer I just have not had enough time to do it. So I just told myself, you know what, instead of killing myself, just push it back and I will do it, you know, once winter starts and I have more time, I can do both and it'll be awesome and, you know. They'll be better. They'll they'll be better. You know, if I tried to do them during the summer, they would have been poopy, and people would have been like, "Wow, this guy's working too hard on Twitch, and he's not even really making good YouTube comment anymore content anymore. What a garbage loser, fake and gay streamer." <laughs> Whereas if I wait till winter and I could actually put them together well, then people will be like, "Wow, this guy is he's, he's doing Twitch, he's doing YouTube, he's doing everything. This guy's pretty sweet." And then I'll get all the women. And that's, isn't that really what we all want here, is all the women? I'm pretty sure that's the, the main goal. Don't kill him. Okay. Uh, God, Red 13 just always gets destroyed. I feel so bad for him. Oh, I don't want to hit him, actually. I want the other one. That's what that's what Jen would say. If Jen were here, she would say that's the most important thing is getting all the women. I know my wife, okay? Been with her for a time now. I know, I know how it is. Are you serious? Didn't I like use Ultima? You know, oh crap! God dang it. That's gonna kill him too. Up and down. I'm lucky. I want to screw this up. Yeah, but see, Mendo, you got the voice, though. That's all you need. Like, you don't need Twitch women. You can just go out in real life. You can go to McDonald's and just, like, sit around and wait for women to walk by and then, like, pretend you're on your phone and just say something to, like, no, no one. And they'll just be like, what was that voice? And then just sit down with you and be like, hey, I want to get to know you. And you'll be like, yeah, you do. Yeah, keep missing. See, I'm talking about I'm talking about your English accent, though. I don't know I don't know what your your Maltese accent sounds like, but I know your English accent sounds like being Maltese, and it's the greatest thing ever. 
a stat update. Well, I just did it like two seconds ago. But. So flat. Well, see, it's not that. Well, actually, he doesn't have anything. So red thirteen has a luck plus, a crappy one, and then a magic plus. And that's it. Everyone else is as normal. So he has 255 magic because of his pluses. He has 92 luck even though he has a luck plus, so his luck is terrible. Uh, Yuffie has 215 luck, and Cloud has 221, and then now they all have about 160, 190 dexterity. So we're getting to the point where we're almost maxed out on this whole luck farming and speed farming business. And then at that point, we pretty much have to do. Um, we pretty much have to do the battle arena because I need to get I need to get final attack, or else I can't really do. Um, I can't really do the other farming very well. Um, oh, uh, Jeff, the maker of this mod, said that the final dungeon had an enemy with sources. He thinks. So I need to go check that out, because if he has, I don't know which type of source he has, and that might help me multiply another type of source. So I should probably go to the North Crater and see uh, what's going on down there, and maybe get roasted a little bit, because that's probably what's going to happen. Let me do one more of these, so I can get Red 13 some luck, because his luck is terrible. And then we'll go to the, um, we'll go to the final dungeon, and... Um, you know, cram nut. I can't use that in battle, though. Uh, we'll go to the final dungeon and see what's going on down there. I was looking for something I could easily purchase again. Um, I know, it's going to be really hard to get final attack. If I can get final attack and possibly quadra magic, then... What's up, Balthazar? Um, oh my god, I really got a freaking... I didn't save too, I was going to, and then I was like, nah, I won't save. If I got really lucky, this would kill him. I might actually be able to get away. Run, run! Oh my god, I actually got away, I can't believe it. I can't believe it! That was the luckiest crap ever. I mean, the most skilled thing you've ever seen in your life. Please follow, like, subscribe. <laughs> that was the clutchiest clutch who ever clutched. Um, yeah, that would have sucked because I didn't save, so I would have had to do this speed again. Oh, so if I have final attack in Quadra Magic, then I can multiply the other sources down here, potentially. Um, it's it's still going to be extremely hard though, because the enemies don't have um, they have too much health for me to sense. So I have to like actually guess how much health they have, unless they can be gravity, which I don't know how many enemies down here can. But it's going to be incredibly hard to get them down low enough to where I can kill them. Or I can, I can like, final attack and kill them with Quadra Magic and then multiply. Like, it's, it's going to be really hard. Oh my god, 
because it seems to have so much health. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really hard. I mean, it, it's hard enough in vanilla Final Fantasy, let alone, let alone this. But basically, um, you have to morph the enemy with a counter as you're dying. And then, uh, well, you have to, see, I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've done it. Basically, you have to kill them and morph them at the same time. I don't remember exactly how it works. But you have to do that, and then and then you put on Final Attack in, Revi in Life 2. And, it, and it's a really long, like, cutscene where he has to... He has to cast Life 2 four times. And while he's doing all of that, you have time to, uh... To, to multiply, like, 60 or 70 of the swords that you need. What are we doing for John Day next week? It's a Thursday. I have a plan. I'll probably stream that day unless something crazy happens. Then we'll do something. Maybe just a bonus stream. I'll just do a regular stream like normal, but we'll do it on Thursday. It's so hard keeping stuff alive when you have like this five enemy crap. Even with hero drinks, like I've been throwing hero drinks on Yuffie this whole time and like she still gets roasted half the time. some obscure American holiday. <laughs> I hope one day John Day is an actual American holiday. That's my goal. One day everyone will celebrate John Day and not know what in the world it is. Just be like, what is it, John Day? I don't know. Some Twitch stream thing? I don't know. Red 13 just gets destroyed every time. There's like nothing I can do. He even has max health with HP pluses and he just, he just gets destroyed. No chance. It's a monthly tribute to John Cena. John Cena Day. Yeah, we're source farming him. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but yes, we're source farming. But only, only to get a few more luck sources because after this I can't do the other ones. So we gotta go figure something out. We gotta go figure something out. I used to hate, like, I don't think I've ever done source farming the legit way, ever. Um, it just takes so long. 
255 of every stat for every character takes an ungodly amount of time. But with the debut item glitch, it uh, it's a lot less painful. Getting 99 at a time is so much better than getting 2 at a time. So yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully everything I said earlier about Twitch and YouTube and stuff makes sense. Um, if any of you have any questions about like what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, where I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, like, and you're not a jerk about it, <laughs> feel free to uh, to ask me now on the on the stream or, or comment on the YouTube video if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, I will be more than happy to answer. Uh, I try to answer every YouTube comment I can. I know most YouTubers don't do that, but I actually read all my YouTube comments. Um, and then I like, you know, try to, try my hardest not to strangle myself afterwards, but <laughs> I actually, uh, I actually do read all my YouTube comments. Um, I do my best to answer as many as I can. People that are just rude, I just don't answer because you're an idiot. There's no reason to be rude on YouTube. Like, you don't know me personally, so there's just literally no reason to be rude. Like, just ask the question. Don't be rude about it. So, if you're rude about it, I'm just not going to answer, but uh, I will try my best to answer any actual questions people have about stuff. Um, and I, I love answering questions. I love keeping people informed. I love talking about the stream and 4-8 and all that stuff, so I will be more than happy to answer. If you have any burning questions, or if you just want to ask questions, if you just want to ask some random question. What's my favorite Dorito flavor? Cool Ranch. There you go. You know, whatever, whatever your heart desires, whatever you need to know right now, whatever burning question you have, I'll be happy to answer. The only one that I've really gotten, not a lot of, but like four different people ask me is like, why does your sound quality suck so bad, you noob? My answer is because I'm not made of money. So there you go. It's, there's your answer. Uh, where was I going? Um, I was going to... Oh, Final Dungeon. What cat food do I give Seymour? Um, it, like the stuff we buy at, at Mark's. <laughs> the the uh, I don't get him the cheapest cat food because the cheapest cat food is like total garbage. I get him like the second cheapest cat food, which is actually pretty good and healthy. And everything above that is like, do you have? Is your cat actually royalty? Then buy this eight hundred dollar cat food. How am I staying so handsome? Twitch keep Twitch takes five years off. How do you get your hair so good? I, don't know, it's, I hate to say I was born with it, but I was kind of born with it. My hair has always been this just super jet black. And it grows way too fast. I have to get a haircut like every month because it grows so freaking fast. How are you doing that with the airship? Uh, if you hold square, you can uh, move in any direction with the airship. And if you hit L1 or R1, it changes the trajectory of the airship without actually moving the airship. So you can do kind of funny tricks with it. Just 
still a save crystal? So I've heard that down here, uh, everything will kill you. So we're about to find out if that's true or not. I've heard that you need to basically source farm everything before you can even like come down here because everything will just roast your face. Yeah, that, that, that's not good. That's not a good start. Back row, sadness, and a hero drink. Dude still did max damage to me. That is, that's not what I want to see. At least we're dodging a lot. That's a bit concerning. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, especially like, I'm waiting for Fire Breath, which I don't think you can dodge, and it'll hit everyone. I wonder if I can, uh, blind him. Oh, I don't know if this mod actually fixed blindness or not. Oh, that didn't work. Yo, leave a host to Sniper! How's it going, my man? life do you think this thing has? 7 million? See, this is why I need more luck with Red 13, because they're dodging because they have a lot of luck. Red 13 doesn't have enough luck, he just gets roasted. Alright. Oh, he actually survived. He got critted too. And I was like, oh, is that the, does that do like percentage damage or something? Why did that do so much less damage? Yo, everybody with the hosts. Hey, Paz and Sarah Brown. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it a lot. Why am I doing less and less damage? What's going on? Here? No! Cloud, no! Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's anything that will stop this guy from auto-killing everything. Like, honestly, I, like... Well, there is one thing. If I actually got defense sources, but I don't have them yet. Yeah. Oh my god, I do no damage! Probably because the Dragon Force. Yeah, this is hopeless. Like, he probably has max stats, and he's using Dragon Force, which means he has double max stats with defense. He has double max defense and double max magic defense. So I, I ain't doing no damage to him anytime soon. Like, that ain't happening. I don't know what enemy he put down here that gives you sources, though. I'm guessing it's not one of the normal enemies. But, we're, we're gonna try. No, I do not have Knights of the Round. There's a boss in front of Knights of the Round that I've heard is, like, probably impossible for me to beat until I've already done everything else. Wait, there's three of these things? Isn't there normally two? Final Fantasy VIII mods? I don't know. I, I would have to play through Final Fantasy VIII before I did a mod. It's been so long since I've even played it. A 
See you, Shadow. Have a good one, dude. At least I can kill these enemies. What's up, Isomenar? How's it going, man? God, no, help. Hey, I learned it, though. Early Holy Christmas! Thank you. Yeah, luck, luck goes a long way. Tell you what, luck is a big deal. What's up, public? Let's go, man. Five hundred and eighty damage. Wow, he didn't get morphed. What the heck? I guess you can't morph him. The experience isn't bad though. I feel like I'm gonna get to a certain part of this and I'm just gonna run into some like boss and die immediately. There's a strat where, like, you get a magic pot to steal a source, and then you steal it back and multiply it. But I'm not 100% sure it works with sources. I think it only works with, like, weapons, because he normally just steals weapons. And to get him to steal the exact thing you want him to steal, you need to, like, sell everything else you own, which I don't want to do. But there's kind of a funny like strat to make a bunch of money where you sell everything you own except a really expensive weapon and then you get um, a magic pot to steal it and then you steal it back and uh, well you don't steal it back you just kill them and then you get it back and then you multiply it with W item and uh, you get like 99 of it and then sell all of it and make a bunch of money. There's no reason to really do that when you can make money off of other stuff by multiplying it. At least I'm getting a bunch of sources this way. I don't know if I really want to like get all these items yet. I'll just get them later. Because I have a feeling I'm just going to die like unexpectedly at some point. I don't think this guy can be morphed either. Okay, well that's not a... That's not a good sign. But that already worries me a little bit. What is that thing? Uh, 
Oh, but it cast Wall. And then those things cast Magic Extinguish on him because that's their counter. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't the best idea of enemies together. And then he cast Resist. I'm gonna try to morph it and see what happens. I'm trying to morph everything. What's up, Jonas? Did a lot more damage than I thought. I stole a power source? Interesting. That's interesting. Oh my god, a morph from him though. Full cure, come on. This thing is annoying, dude. Holy cow. He's like a super, super white mage. I still want to morph these little things to see what they give. It's gonna be hard with this thing like healing it though. Alright, let's just morph this guy first. I don't know how much health he has, but. Oh. <laughs> He's probably got like 7 bajillion health. Ugh. Oh, that's fun. That, that, that sounds terrifying. Ow. Guess it didn't kill me. Leave me on about. You see what kind of like fight for my life I'm in right now? You come in here and just meow like this no one's business. Pretty red to me. Ah, maybe that's the maybe that's the joke. He's a red mage. He's got healing and Ultima just sitting around. God dang, he keeps full curing himself. I must comment and then mug. It's the only way. Except for thirteen sucks. He has max. Magic stat. Oh god. No! No! Oh my god, she dodged it? Wait. You know, I don't know what it is, but like, I've had probably four different people asking my opinion of Final Fantasy Tactics, like, within the past two weeks. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Everyone's just picking up Tactics all of a sudden. Like, everyone wants to play Tactics. Hyper Ether. What the heck is that? Gives them 999 MP. Wow. Um, I played Tactics a very long time ago. I was not in the right mood to play it when I played it. So I didn't, I only played it for like an hour and then quit playing it. I always thought it was a really cool game and I wanted to play more of it, but I just, I haven't been in the mood to play RTS games in a long time. I really only have like one RTS game that I play. Um, but one day I would like to play Tactics, like all the way through. It's definitely a really cool game. I just, I don't know. I get bored with most RT RTS games unless it's like 
really, really engaging. And since the only system I had tactics on was my PS Vita, and I don't play my Vita very often, I just didn't play it at all. Like, I just, I don't play, I don't play, uh, handheld games, like, ever anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore. I'm trying to do some damage to the little thing to see if maybe he'll, uh, he'll attack that instead. As long as I have everybody with, uh... As long as I have everybody with hero drinks, this isn't too bad. We can survive pretty easily. What's up, Miles? I think doing doing the steel strat on this guy should be pretty easy, actually, because... Um, I don't think he actually really attacks unless you attack him first. I think Ultima's like a like a counter. Oh god, he just did a physical attack. That's different. This thing is incredibly frustrating to try to kill. I wonder if I should like man like cast reflect on that or something. Can full cure be reflected? I'm not even sure. I might try casting Reflect on them and see if maybe he can't cure himself. He's gotta be close to dead at this point. Because he keeps curing the other guy instead. Which is pretty much my goal. Unless it's like random or something, but I seriously doubt it. I love Bloodfest. It's such a cool... I think Magic Extinguish just cast Silence, but... Yo, Crixie! How's it going? The memes have arrived. Okay, well, at least we have access to power sources. That's a lot of XP. That's pretty nice. So, this is definitely a, a thing. 